Did the Holy Spirit dwell within someone in the Old Testament? If so, how? If our God is holy and only dwells in us after Christ Jesus died and was resurrected. In the Old Testament, this is on, yeah, there, I just, yeah, um, and that's a, that's a huge question, isn't it? Whoever asked that is probably aware of dispensationalism, right? Um, the Lord works in certain ways in certain periods in human history. In the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit would be given, but would also be removed. So there were times when the Holy Spirit would come upon somebody. He came upon Samson, for example, or the Holy Spirit came upon Saul. And he would come, he would perform the task, whatever it may be, through that person, but the Holy Spirit would also depart. Because in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit had yet to come to abide with men forever. So he would come upon them in an anointing sort of way, strengthening them or giving them prophetic utterance or whatever. And as you read your Old Testament, you'll see incidents of that. But he also would depart. Samson was one who was a judge, and as a judge, the Holy Spirit departed from him because he was in sin. And yet the scripture tells us that Samson didn't know that the Spirit had departed. That's how carnal he had been, and that's how he had been living. But the Holy Spirit departed from him. So when you take that into consideration, then you'll understand the words of David when David said, take not thy Holy Spirit from me, because he was aware that the Holy Spirit would descend or live or work within a person, but also would depart. That's in the Old Testament. So in the Old Testament, people were saved by faith, the way that you are in the New Testament. But the dispensation or the giving of the Holy Spirit to remain in and abide in and be upon, that's a New Testament revelation. If you want to study that and look at that closely, you can see that in John 14, 15, and 16, which, is the chapter, which are the chapters where Jesus most specifically speaks concerning the work of the Holy Spirit. So you'll see that in John 14, 15, and 16, very specifically. And he speaks concerning several works of the Holy Spirit in those chapters, including that he will abide with you forever. And so the New Testament dispensation is the Holy Spirit indwelling us and we are now made into the temple of the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God in the New Testament believer remains. So he abides with us, whereas in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit would settle, do a work, but would also depart. So that's the difference between the Old Testament working of the Spirit in the life of a believer and the New Testament where he abides with us forever.